And you're looking at live views from the Kennedy Space Center for SpaceX CRS-12. The Falcon 9 sits on the launch pad with a Dragon packed with supplies for the International Space Station. After launch, SpaceX ascent commentary is performed by several people. The propulsion engineer will call out propulsion events. The avionics engineer will call out avionics health and Dragon separation. The range coordinator calls out Air Force Satellite Control Network Acquisition and Loss of Signal, and the Ground Station Specialists calls out the SpaceX Antenna Acquisition and Loss of Signal. At 1 minute 6 seconds after liftoff, lift off, Falcon 9 reaches supersonic speed. The vehicle will pass through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure, known as Max-Q, two seconds later. This is the point when mechanical stress on the rocket reaches its peak because of the rocket's velocity and resistance created by Earth's atmosphere. We're at T-minus two minutes and counting. Stage two locks load is closed out. The second stage of the Falcon 9 engine is fully ready with liquid oxygen. RP-1 has been loaded aboard both stages, as has liquid oxygen. We're in the final minute, 45 seconds away from launch, Josh. Everything appears to be go at this time. The next major milestone will be a checkout of the automatic or autonomous flight control system. And that will come a minute and five seconds away from launch. Ground side gas close up to start. After lift off around two minutes, 27 seconds into flight, the nine Merlin engines will sequentially shut down. You'll hear Miko, which is main engine cutoff. The first stage will perform a boost back burn about 15 seconds later, heading back to nearby Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, landing zone one. We'll show you the landing on NASA TV about seven and a half minutes after launch. Dragon arm startup. Falcon 9 is startup. Dragon start up. Gas complete. Everything is go. Under one minute. Standing by for the final go for the launch director at T minus 45 seconds, Josh. And Mike Taylor, our launch director, is go for launch. Terminal count begins at T minus 30 seconds. T minus 30. Oh, look at the fire! Oh my god. There it goes! Woo! Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The lift off the Falcon 9 takes flight with the Dragon spacecraft wow. destined for the one of a kind laboratory of microgravity, the International Space Station. Milestone will be the shutdown of the nine Merlin engines. Look, look how high it is. Look at that smoke thing. Scheduled for two minutes 27 seconds into flight. Less than a minute away from main engine cutoff. And back engine chill has begun. After a main engine cutoff, 
The first stage will perform a boost back burn about 15 seconds later and head back to nearby Cape Canaveral Air Force Station Landing Zone 1. And on NASA television, we'll be showing you the first stage landing as well as the continuation of the second stage taking Dragon to orbit. Station 1 Jettison will begin at 2 minutes 29 seconds. Vehicle flying down the number. We have Miko. And we have Miko. Stage separation confirmed. You can see the stage separation. Stage 1 on the right, drifting back away from stage 2, continuing to power Dragon into space. This view from the stage ignition. This view from the second stage of the Falcon 9, showing the engine is ignited. And that's the first stage, heading back toward the ground, just miles away from the launch pad. First stage is conducting a boost burn. About 10 seconds remaining in that burn. Dragon that has come to play. Meanwhile, the Dragon nose cone has deployed, exposing the Dragon spacecraft to space. Boost back shutdown. Boost back burn shutdown. 